Y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. It's another toasty day here on the farm. It's nice and warm. They're calling for really, really, really hot weather uh, temperatures this weekend. So, uh, you know, right now it's about 90 degrees outside. The humidity isn't too bad. But whenever the humidity and the temperature gets up there, I mean, it's, it's hard working out here. You sweat like crazy. But, uh, you know, it's part of it, part of living in Missouri. But uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did with high tunnel number two, where the strawberries were, and how the tomato plants are looking uh, that are going to go in there. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys watched my uh, previous videos, you guys know what happened with the high tunnel strawberries and how that ended up. We're still configuring everything and how the strawberries ended up here on the farm. The uh, field strawberries are done for. We are done with you picks, so we're still adding up everything, seeing how the year was. But in here, in number two, you guys know that I wasn't too happy with the crop and the yield. But overall, the uh, yield was okay. I mean, with all the four different varieties I had in here. And what the plan was uh, to plant our uh, last crop of tomatoes in here. So what I did for the past couple of days, uh, it was actually for a whole week, I went ahead and closed up these sides and just let the uh, temperatures... Uh, let, let the, let the hot air do do its own thing. So I closed up the, the sides up there and made sure the doors are closed for a whole entire uh, week. And some of the temperatures, I'll check the high and low um, periodically whenever it wasn't as hot outside. And there are some instances where the temperature reached 150 degrees in there for the high. And the minimum was like 100 some degrees. So it stayed hot in there the entire time. So, I mean, that did multiple things, but the first thing is first, First of all, it killed off the plants and then it killed off any insects or bacteria that was there in the high tunnel. So there, it should be pretty much sanitized and you know disinfected just from the natural heat for so long. And it stayed at those high temperatures for many hours because the whole entire day as the sun was out, it was a clear skies, I mean, all last week and all this week. So it did do the the trick and it did what i expected to do to come through here and sanitize everything and kill off anything that was in here so now we uh drop the sides down here and it's uh starting to clear up here i came through here with a systemic uh herbicide and killed off all this grass so you can see here it's dying off here you know surprisingly johnson grass doesn't die at 150 degrees for some odd reason it just didn't do that on on the edges here you could tell some of that grass didn't die because that some of that the the hot air would rise up and then some of that cold air from the outside would come up from the edges there. But the centers here, as you can see, the uh, strawberries here are pretty much. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing here. That's all dead for, done for. This lamb quarter is still kind of alive there. I mean, it's it's crazy to see how hot temperatures, uh, you know, 100, 150 degrees, won't kill lamb's quarter. So that's the funny thing. Right now, currently in the high tunnel is 108 degrees. So, uh, yeah, it's hot. It's hot with no shade cloth. It's just hot, total hot day in here. So, surprisingly, like I said, I am surprised that this stuff didn't die from the heat. But a systemic herbicide will come through here and kill it off. I'm just waiting for the, uh, the weeds to kind of die off here. And we'll come through here and pull everything out, clean it up, sweep everything out. Make sure that the tunnel is ready for tomatoes. So that was a plan from the beginning. Once the strawberries are done for, come through here, rip everything out, and plant tomatoes. So we're slowly getting closer and closer to that. Uh, today, what, uh, it's the 13th, 14th, or I don't even remember. It's middle of June, and we got to get these planted so that about the first week of August, we can start harvesting out of here. The second high tunnel there, or number three, it's looking real good. We should start harvesting out of there within a couple more weeks. Number one here. Still has a lot, a lot of green ones coming on yet. I got to put a uh, the cover on that one. A shade cloth or the uh, spray will kind of, I'm still debating on which one to buy. So um, anyways, in here, plant tomatoes. About the middle of June, about the first, second week of August. Harvest here in the tunnel. Tom tomatoes out of this tunnel will we'll have tomatoes out of here until the last frost. And they should be good to go. We don't plant any, any tomatoes. You know, this is the latest, this is the last crop we're going to plant and the latest we're ever going to plant any tomatoes here. So. thing that uh, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to come through here and rip everything out because we still have the money invested in the plastic and drip tape and it's still good. I mean, it's still held up with strawberry season. 
it has no holes in it the drip tapes are really good so why not try to get another crop out of it try to double crop that the plastic and drip tape so that was the plan get everything cleaned up nicely in here and then we'll get the um the tomatoes in here and then we'll get two crops out of the plastic and drip tape so the plastic and drip tape is going to be in the ground for well over a year by the time we come through here and clean it up it still holds up nicely it's still good it still does the trick of keeping weeds under control in, in, in some places, you know, 95% of the places we're going to be planted will be protected. So um, that's the thing. There's no point of coming through and cleaning everything out if uh, we already have everything. I mean, everything's already connected. All I got to do is connect the hose to the hydrant there, and we got irrigation running. So whenever after we get done cleaning this out, turn on the irrigation for a couple of uh, hours, maybe three or four hours, maybe full day to get the soil nice and soaked. There should be plenty of fertilizer yet still in the soil. So we're not to worry about that too much about any pre-plant stuff but we'll just come through here and uh, make sure that tomatoes will be happy now um let's go and check go let's go in the greenhouse there and i'm going to show you guys the uh tomatoes transplants that are in the greenhouse Alrighty, so uh, it's been nice and warm and number one here i had to come through here and spray for some insect issues and some botrytis issues i'm running irrigation here and i uh someone wants to kick that so uh Leaves are looking a little yellow, but we're coming through here tomorrow morning and harvest a lot of good tomatoes in here. But yeah, not too bad. These big dinas here are kind of looking rough. A lot of plants fell, so on Saturday we had a pretty high windstorm come through. Uh, we didn't, not, no damage yet, but the um, the structure itself was shaking and the plants are so heavy on the indeterminates that some of the plants completely fell down to the ground because they fell off the trellis off the string there from that will connect it to the top of the structure itself so that's just part of uh the issues of growing indeterminates but i'm out here in the greenhouse and we do put we did put the shade clock on here in the middle of may it was getting too hot and notice noticeable difference between a tall tunnel and a short tunnel but anyways let's look at these tomato plants so these first three trays here these are bhn 589s looking beautiful got some southern blight or something coming in here got to get these planted pretty quick red deuce right here everything's looking good nice and healthy kind of leggy from the hot temperatures but these will be going in the ground here pretty quick so we got bhn 589 florida 91 red deuce and carolina gold going in our last tunnel and of course we still got our last planting of eggplants we got to go in cantaloupe still got to go in the ground and it's been so wet here in missouri that we haven't been able to plant much in the field but these are, these are the tomatoes right here, looking real good, nice and healthy. This is the ideal size. Some of the stuff is getting a little too leggy. But the nice thing about growing transplants this time of year, they're really stocky. They're not really leggy like that. They're just pretty, pretty firm, pretty stocky. So that's the beauty of uh, got the nice warm temperatures and with the shade cloth on in here, it's not too bad. Y'all, hey so that's the plan with high tunnel number two. Strawberries are dead. We'll probably come through here today or tomorrow, clean that up, and get the. Uh, tunnel are ready to go i got some other stuff i gotta be doing i gotta finish off um i'm working up soil right now for the watermelon and the cantaloupe out in the field we uh, i want to plant i bought the seeds for sunflowers i want to do those but it's already the middle of june and i'm like huh maybe maybe not but we'll see maybe just do a half acre of the sunflowers or whatnot but the soil is drying up here so it's about time to go and get that ready to go so just a quick little video for you guys I, uh, I've been kind of slacking here on the videos as we just been so busy doing all the farmers markets getting ready for that And you know, it's just part of part of the experience part of the journey But I want to start uploading a lot more often I was thinking maybe for the month of July to upload every day I don't know. We'll see or at least five to six times a week or every work day. We'll see uh, As farmers, that's pretty much every day of the week. But <laughs> Yeah, slowly and surely get, getting there but uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day. We will see you next time. <music>